Howdy y'all and welcome back. Be Gunners, episode 5. So in the last couple of episodes, we talked about pros and cons of long gun versus handgun, and within handguns, revolver versus semi-auto. And the next logical discussion would be different types of semi-auto. So you have single action only, you have double action, single action, you have double action only, you have striker fired, and there are even some other obscure action types, but those are going to be the main four. And with new gun owners, I think the real discussion generally comes down to striker fired versus double action, single action. This gets a little tricky for me because I only own striker fired handguns. So I tried to show a little bit of an example in the last video, but let's do some make believe here. And we'll pretend that this is a 1911, a single action only. <laughs> so it would have an external hammer on the back, just like the revolver hammer, right? And when I charge the slide, it's going to put a round in the chamber and it's going to lock that hammer back. And so now if I want to fire the gun, I just press the trigger. Single action only guns will have a very short, very light trigger like sometimes very light trigger. If I have charged the gun, the hammer's back, and I don't want to shoot it, it will have an external safety lever right here that I'll flip up, and that locks up the gun so it cannot fire. And then when I want to shoot it, I will sweep that safety lever down and fire the gun. That's single action only. Double action, single action. Again, I tried to show you this in the last video using a revolver as an example but you're gonna have the external hammer. So you charge the gun. There are different styles of double action, single action, but some will have a decocking lever that you can sweep down and that will safely drop the hammer. Some don't and they will have just a safety kind of like the 1911 and they're meant to be carried with that hammer back safety on. So two different styles of double action, single action, but if the gun is in double action, meaning you have decocked it, or sometimes you can, with a safety only model, you can slowly pull the trigger and slowly lower the hammer and it's dicey and weird, but you can do it. If it's decocked, it's in double action. It will have, just like in the revolver, double action. It's a long, heavy first trigger pull. Hammer drops, gun goes bang, it cycles. Hammer is now locked back, and now the gun is in single action. So it will have a much lighter, crisper, crisper <laughs> trigger press. And so you have two completely different trigger presses. Okay. Double action only. It's just going to have the one long, heavy trigger pull every single time. Then we get to striker fire guns. And striker fire guns will have a little bit of take up. In the trigger, you're going to meet resistance. We call that the wall. And then you're going to push through the wall. The gun goes bang. Striker is released. Gun goes bang. Cycles. It's ready. And you just and it's the same trigger press every single time. Very consistent trigger press. And that is what I like about striker fired guns. One trigger press. It's in between weight. So. Like I said, the single action only guns are going to run somewhere two to four pound trigger pull. Double action trigger pulls are generally 10 to 14 pounds. Striker fired generally four to six pounds. So it's in the middle. And you're going to have that little bit of a pre-travel, a little bit of safety margin there before you hit the resistance and then the gun goes bang. So... Striker fired guns. Glocks are not going to have an external safety on them. Many striker fired guns will not have an external safety. Some will have a, an option of manual safety. Uh, let's take a look at a Smith & Wesson shield and the safety on that guy. Yeah, little bitty, tiny safety, and they tend to be very stiff. 
and I have seen people with my own eyes think they disengage their safety and they go to shoot the gun and nothing happens because they missed. It, it, they're, they're, fin- you have to kind of, they're fumbly little, finicky little. Now, some guns, here's another Smith & Wesson, but a full-size model, much larger external safety. Those are pretty easy to operate. And most modern 1911 single action only guns, the safety is going to be that big paddle style. Those are pretty easy to disengage. But a lot of the guns that new gun owners are out shopping are going to have those little tiny difficult to disengage safeties on there. And if you desperately need to defend yourself and you go to shoot your gun and you thought you got your safety off but you didn't, you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to get killed in the streets. <laughs> I kid, but kind of not really. I've watched this happen with my own eyes and you can, there are tons of videos on YouTube with firearms instructors discussing this topic. It is a very much a real thing. And you'll read over and over again in gun forums, well, it's just a matter of training. You just have to train to, to get that safe. Yeah, the people I watched with my own eyes fumble this and get it wrong, they trained for it. They're just, they are difficult little guys to, to disengage. So, you're a new gun owner. You're worried that your kids are going to get a hold of your gun. If your kids get a hold of your gun, you have failed as a parent. You are failing in life. This should not be a discussion. It should not matter if it's a revolver, a rifle, a semi-auto handgun, whether it has a safety or no safety. It doesn't matter. If your kids get their hands on your gun, you are failing. So then the other thing that comes up all the time is, well, I'm just, I'm new and I, I want to have that safety on there because I'm, I'm worried that I'm going to have an accident. Okay, y'all, this is really, really simple. You keep your damn finger off the trigger. That's it. That's all you have to do. You just don't put your finger on the trigger and the gun will not go off. Guns don't go off by themselves. Now, if you're going to own a striker-fired gun with no safety on it, it is absolutely mandatory that you have a proper, good quality, preferably Kydex, just get Kydex, y'all, holster to keep the gun in. Just do it. Like, that's, it's not up for debate. It's just get a proper, even if you don't plan on carrying your gun, you can store it this way in your safe, in your nightstand, wherever you're going to keep your gun at the ready. And just have, just, just do that, okay? Just boom. The trigger cannot be reached and it will not go off by itself. This is a really, it gets, I, I get it, you're new, you're worried. It really shouldn't be. The beauty of striker fired handguns with no external safety is that they are just the most simple. You don't, you don't have levers. You don't have to, is it decock? Do I do this? Do I, is the safety on? Did I remove it? You just rack around in there. The gun is hot. If you're not ready to shoot it, you put it in the holster. Easy. When you're ready to shoot it, you just take it out of the holster. Now it's ready to fire. Easy. So... I get it, like you're concerned, you shouldn't be. You can be brand new to this and start off doing things the correct way and you will never have a misfire ever. <laughs> it's just do it the right way. All right, y'all, that's all I got for this episode. Until next time, be easy, y'all.